Hello, good day. In this particular lecture, we are going to solve the question number five of the workshop relative to the utility. The question is, the figure opposite shows the total utility that Clive, a first year degree student, would get from different levels of annual income. Now, if you look at this graph, this graph basically is telling you, like say, for example, how much utility he gets if his income is zero. The total utility that he gets when his income is zero is zero. If his income becomes 2000, his total utility becomes around 300, like above some level of 300. And then 4,000 levels of income basically gives him 500 utils as given into the situation. Now, and the similarly, like 8,000 actually gives him the total utility of 700 utils. Now, they assume that he is offered a chance to gamble the whole 4,000 pounds on the toss of a coin and the odds are two is to one. What does that mean? It means that like, you know, say for example, if he wins, his money gets doubled. Like say for example, his 4,000, the amount of the 4,000 pounds that he gets actually gets double and that become like, you know, 8,000 pounds. So 8,000 pounds is the amount that basically he gets if he gets actually wins the lottery or the, or the toss of a coin. So his like, you know, if he takes the gamble, what will be the total utility for this year if he wins? So it means that the corresponding level of the total utility with the 8,000 pound is just is 700 utils. The second part is that if he takes the gamble, what will be his utility this year if he loses? Loss means like, you know, the zero income, the zero pounds, the zero pounds basically corresponds to the to zero utility. So his total utils, which he will be getting from the zero income will be the zero utils. What would be his average expected utility from the gamble? Whenever we go into the gambling, we actually try to find out the mathematical expectations. The expectations means the expected return from the gamble that we are going, going to get in. Now here you have got just two options, like either you get 700 pounds, 700 utils, or you get zero utils. Now the average return from this particular gamble can be found out by actually like, you know, summing up the two different levels of the re rewards by two, like say for example, the zero is a reward if you lose and the 700 is the reward when you basically win. So the average will be the 700 plus zero divided by two, that is 350 utils. Now the D part is, what is it likely that he will not, he will not take the gamble and thus be risk averse? For that basically you will have to compare this average utility that he gets from the gambling with the total amount of utility which he gets if he doesn't get into the gambling. Now, basically, you can see here clearly that the 5,000 amount of the 5,000 utils is actually greater than this 3,350. And this 350 amount, like, you know, say, for example, this 350 amount is actually less than the amount that he could get, like, you know, if he doesn't get into the gamble. So he actually will be a risk averse and he will not get into this kind of a gambling. Thank you for joining us.